um, the, the triple CFA came in and, well, technically on the 1st of December last year, uh, but was actually implemented by about September by the banks trying to show that they were, you know, all ready for it. 70% of those applications were declined by the bank. So you can't understate how much of a effect the triple CFA had. People getting the, the tax returns done, the financial statements prepared and the tax returns done now for their rental properties, they're now starting to see that. Oh, okay. So, uh, for example, last year, from October onwards, you could claim 25, uh, you could deduct 75% um, of your interest and the other 25% is non-deductible interest. This is for existing rentals. So now we're seeing the first time financial statements showing that here's your uh, entry for uh, interest that's deductible and interest that's non-deductible. And he pointed out that the numbers of property basically from like 1066 AD to now if you run the numbers and do uh, plot the dips and the spikes, you basically get like a, a, a curve that just gradually goes up and up and up and up. That's property. So if you so yeah, that's kind of um, what we're seeing. There's been no new developments, shall we say, in the last year. But what has happened is there's been clarifications of issues. We've seen IRD uh, under direction, of course, from Parliament, uh, look to reduce expenses previously that people could claim. You know, as an example of that is meals out for, for, for subbies, lunches out for subbies, food away from home. Yeah, forget that. That's um, only deductible perhaps if you uh, were working on the space station or something like that. Yeah. So are you finding people... Uh getting rid of existing investment property to, to swap for uh, new builds or uh, because of the tax a and increased interest rate, right? So you're now paying five and a half percent that you can't claim. The most dramatic thing to happen in the last 12 months for our clients has been the rising interest rate environment. Um, that's had a, well, from, from the beginning of the interest rate, uh, rise this, when that started we've, we've seen probably about a two to three hundred dollar a week out of pocket chain we've seen that slow increase of interest rates which has created a um a greater impact on a client's bottom line so that's been a big change it has created a a, a big drive towards looking for higher yielding properties in the last 12 months properties that have got a, a higher rental yield so we can we can go with the with the emotion of the markets i understand that it's not actually the right way to be investing though it really isn't and uh, that's where people need to be getting advice so um, i really really hope that for me that that's a theme that that is pushed out from from our catch up today today is um Please don't make your decisions based on what the masses are doing or what the Herald headlines are saying um, or what the Fed in the United States are doing. Do it based on an advice-led process with what Gareth said, stepping back and looking at the big picture.